in this episode even more EV6 and EV9 service actions and updates in both the US and Australia and maybe elsewhere. Hello and welcome to another episode. Following on from the earlier video I did this week on the limp home mode for the EV6 coming out in the UK and the EU, the similar technical service bulletin and service action has been released in America. This looks to have the same number in internally as the Canadian one I may have mentioned previously, but it doesn't have much detail about what is actually in it. So it, this one is Service Action 599. Um, the description is, this bulletin provides information to upgrade the vehicle control unit software on certain 2022 to 2024 model year EV6s produced from November the 17th, 21 through to July the 18th, 24, which are equipped with a limp home mode function that activates in response to a fault detected in the low voltage DC to DC converter or LDC. That's what charges your 12 volt battery in other words. Now that is all the detail it gives, but as I mentioned at the start of the week, if you look at the Hyundai version of this, um, that one says description certain 2022 to 2024 model model ionic 5 ionic 6s may exhibit a condition while driving where the 12 volt battery voltage drops below the operational voltage and the vehicle control unit places the vehicle in fail safe mode the vcu software in this bulletin updates the maximum vehicle speeds for various levels of 12 volt battery voltage when the vehicle enters fail safe mode so i think it does exactly the same as what it says in the Hyundai bulletin and it's the, the equivalent of what we've got in the UK and the EU this week. It should be done in conjunction with the ICCU upgrade but I think a lot of people have already had the ICCU up, you upgrade in the States already so it's another trip back to the dealer unfortunately. And the second update is for the EV9. This is Service Action 603. Uh, this bulletin provides information to replace the Body Domain Controller, or BDC, on certain 2024 model year EV9s, produced from May the 3rd, 24 for to June 18th, 2024. The affected vehicles may experience issues when trying to activate the digital key, creating owner key. Follow the procedure outlined in the publication to replace the body domain controller on the applicable vehicle before conducting the procedure. Verify that the vehicle is included in the list of VINs. Um, if this goes international, which it could well do, the international campaign number will be 240135. Now looking through the TSB, it's actually a component under the, it looks like it's under the dash. Uh, so the unit needs changing and then reprogramming. Um, it's quite interesting what could be reprogrammed and all the stuff that's in the, these menus in the Kia diagnostic thingy that they got plugged in to do stuff. So it also mentions variant coding. Interesting. And there is a, a picture of the required part. Anyway, I guess this will probably come to the UK and the EU if only those vehicles are in that uh, manufacturing range. Oh, I also need to add some Australian news. Uh, basically, they've received the second ICCU update, according to Gary Book. So that has a campaign number of 241225, and that is likely to be the same campaign number that we get in the UK and the EU. Uh, they're also installed in the VCU limp home mode, which the US has got, and we've also got already. Um, viewer Ron Faciel has sent me the car sc scanner OBD dump, which confirms that the version number of the ICCU software has been upgraded to version 14, which is very similar. It has 14 in it as well as the US version. The news that Australia has now received the update means that the EU and UK are more likely to get it sooner. So it could be February or March when we get it. But as I mentioned in the previous update about the Limpone update, it's, it's worth waiting for the ITCU second update, which is coming uh, to get them all done at the same time, I reckon. Thanks for Alan SH on Kiri forums for posting the technical service bulletins for the US. Also, thanks to Gary Book and to Ron Faciol for sending me the information on the Australian ICCU update. I hope you find this useful. Thank you for watching.